Number 10. Chupacabra The Chupacabra may have just been spotted in Texas. A man witnessed a creature looking like the legendary Chupacabra skulking through West Houston. The sighting of the animal was caught on camera, and it seems to show a skinny, dog-like monster hurrying through a residential neighborhood as quickly as its freaky little legs could carry it. Some people have denounced the possibility of the animal being a monster, claiming that it was probably just a mangy dog or a sick coyote. But if you look closely enough, it definitely looks like a mythical blood-sucking creature. Of course, skeptics immediately call something like this fake, but those who believe will tell you that it's evidence of the mythical beast that has been noted to suck the blood out of goats and other farm animals in the depth of night. Of course, the mythical chupacabra has been a legend primarily in places like Mexico and Puerto Rico, so it's definitely rare to see it in Texas. Perhaps it crossed the border while no one was watching. This is one of those animals that biologists are adamant doesn't exist. And while they may be right, sightings like this really do make you question. The chupacabra is undoubtedly real. It just might be a mangy coyote instead of a wild vampire. Number 9. American Loch Ness Monster Lake Champlain is a huge body of water in both New York, Vermont and Quebec. The lake is a nice spot for boating and fishing, and it also happens to hold America's own version of the Loch Ness Monster. Legends of a monster living in Lake Champlain go back to the native Iroquois of the region. When French explorers arrived in the 18th century, they were warned against disturbing the waters of the lake as there was a giant serpent living inside. Then, in the later part of the 1800s, sightings of the monster began to seriously heat up. There was even a New York Times article about a railroad crew that had witnessed the serpent firsthand in Lake Champlain, saying that it had bright and silver scales that glistened in the sunlight. By 1992, at least 600 people had claimed to witness the Lake Champlain monster. There were even photos taken throughout the 90s, and that was when the comparison to the Loch Ness Monster started. Many of the photos were too blurry or out of focus to properly show if there really was a monster, but despite the controversy, there's no doubt that something large and frightening definitely lives in Lake Champlain, whether it's a small family of marine reptiles or the Loch Ness Monster's cousin. Number 8. Mermaids Mermaids are supposed to be the stuff of legends. Nonetheless, there have been mermaid sightings documented ever since man could document anything. Mermaids have been sighted by people in the military, by tourists visiting the beach, and even by scuba divers. In fact, there have been so many convincing sightings of mermaids that they could very well be creatures of legends that actually exist. One of the most fascinating mermaid sightings came during World War II, when a group of Japanese soldiers spotted strange creatures during the 1940s while stationed in Indonesia. The soldiers all witnessed humanoid creatures with pink skin, fishy mouths, and the arms and legs of a frog. These weren't your typical mermaids, but they were definitely weird sea people that were apparently making gurgling and burping noises and then vanished into the water after being spotted. The local villagers already knew about these sea creatures and called them Orang Ican, which translates to English as manfish. If local villagers knew about these creatures, it's likely that they were actually a legitimate species or natural phenomenon, but scientists didn't believe them. Now, these sightings obviously haven't been verified, but it really makes you wonder if an ancient race of sea people really had been living around the Indonesian islands, but have since gone extinct just like the dodo bird. Have you ever seen a mermaid? Or something similarly mythical that you weren't able to classify? What do you think it was? Tell me about it in the comments section below. Then, before you forget, hit the subscribe button now to stay on top of all the latest videos right here on Epic Wildlife. Number 7. The Devil Bird The Devil Bird of Sri Lanka is shrouded in legend and mystery. Its cry is said to be an omen of death, with those who hear its shriek at night almost certain to lose a loved one the next day. The original story from Sri Lankan legend says that a mother lost her daughter in a tragic accident and was driven to such despair that she ran into the forest shrieking and turned into the devil bird, known by locals as the Ulama. Ever since, she has been screeching at night, acting as a harbinger of death. But the interesting thing is that the devil bird may actually exist. In 2001, a new type of bird was found that locals immediately recognized as the devil bird from legend. It turned out to be a spot-bellied owl, an extremely mysterious owl with a shrill call. This owl is almost never seen by people. Biologists don't really know much about it, and to this day, many locals in Sri Lanka still believe it to be the true devil bird, warning people of imminent doom with its ghostly night calls. 
Number 6. The Platypus The platypus is a prime example of an animal that people thought was fake but turned out to be real. The first Western person to ever describe a platypus was a zoologist named George Shaw, who received a sample of the animal's pelt from Australia in 1799. According to Ripley's Believe It or Not, at first, George thought someone was playing a joke on him. That makes sense, because the platypus is so bizarre that it looks like it has to be a hoax. After all, it has a duck bill, flippers, and yet it's hairy. It couldn't possibly be real, right? At least, that's what Dr. Shaw thought. He assumed someone took the bill of a duck, the pelt of a mole or an otter, and then sent them to England as a practical joke. He even cut the skin apart to try and locate stitches, though of course he couldn't find any. George Shaw drew the first picture of the platypus, which actually turned out to be shockingly close even though he had never seen the animal before. Still, the English people were sceptical and didn't believe in the platypus for another 100 years after it was first discovered. Of course, people in Australia already knew about the platypus, but on the other side of the world, it wouldn't be until the late 1800s that the platypus was accepted as a real animal by the public. Number 5. The Tarkahe The Tarkahe is a bird that came back from the dead. This large, chicken-like creature was first described as a new species in 1851 by Dr. Walter Mantell after the second specimen was captured. At the time, Dr. Mantell wrote that it would be very unlikely for any other living specimens of the Takahe to be found. And he was right. According to New Zealand Geographic, two additional birds were found following its classification and the bird was then declared extinct. The bird remained extinct until 1948 when someone spotted one in New Zealand. An expedition was mounted to find the bird, and a small flock of them were discovered in one of the remotest places in New Zealand, known as Fjordland. It turned out that this small, rather strange-looking bird had somehow survived extinction. With the help of conservationists, the Takahe's numbers increased, and fast forward to 2019, and there are about 418 of them still living on the planet, though they are still critically vulnerable. Number 4. A Real Unicorn the remains of a real unicorn that lived roughly 30,000 years ago were just found in Kazakhstan. This is shocking for a few reasons. First, unicorns aren't supposed to exist. Secondly, the animal, which is known scientifically as the Elasmotherion sibiricus, was supposed to have gone extinct 350,000 years ago. But these newest fossilized remains show that the hairy unicorn was still wandering through ancient Russia 29,000 years before today. According to Andrei Spansky from the Tomsk State University, Western Siberia was probably the last refuge for these mythical horned creatures. But I have some pretty bad news, as the real unicorns that lived on Earth didn't look quite like what you're probably imagining. Our fantasy images of unicorns aren't realistic, but it's likely that the legend of the unicorn was related to ancient people encountering this animal. This was an ancient species of rhinoceros that had exceptionally long horns. They were definitely not horses, they certainly weren't pure white, and they didn't have spiral horns made of gold and rainbows. Instead, they looked like woolly rhinos with curved tusks sticking out of their heads. But despite the differences, these beasts may have been the original inspiration for what we think of today as a mythical unicorn. Number 3. The Okapi The creature found by the Russian miners has been referred to as a monster mummy, and nobody is really sure what it is. The Okapi is the strangest animal on Earth that absolutely has no business existing. In fact, if you were to show pictures of the Okapi to one of your friends, they would probably call you a liar and denounce the pictures as fake. After all, the Okapi has the black and white stripes of a zebra, it has the head of a giraffe, and it has the body shape of a deer. The Okapi is a weird amalgamation of half a dozen African animals, and it lives primarily in dense rainforests in Central Africa. Scientists didn't even know these animals existed until 1900, according to the San Diego Zoo. Okapis are secretive, they stay as far away from humans as possible, and it's been estimated that there are only about 25,000 of them left in the wild. They are the only relatives of the giraffe, and yeah, they 100% look like they've been photoshopped. If you ever encounter an okapi in the wild, get a picture. People may think you're trying to fool them, but you'll know the truth you found one of the most incredible real animals that looks like a hybrid species in the world. Number 2. A Mysterious Monster A small group of miners working in a remote region of Russia recently discovered a bizarre animal that, at first, nobody believed really existed. The freaky creature was pulled out of the frozen sand in an area where the average daily temperature hovers around minus 45 degrees Fahrenheit. 
Because of the extreme cold, the mummified beast was discovered in pristine condition, with its fangs and claws still intact. Even more interesting is that the frozen sand in which the creature was discovered dates all the way back to the Mesozoic era, which means it could be between 252 and 66 million years old. After the discovery of the strange monster, it was taken back to the nearest major cities that it could be examined by scientists. Some estimate that the creature could be a previously unknown dinosaur, while others say it could be an extinct type of wolverine. Nobody really knows what the creature is, but one thing for sure, it's definitely real. Number 1. Real Dragons It's generally agreed that dragons don't exist. However, you might be interested to know just how close a real, breathing dragon was to existing on our planet. You have to remember that ancient cultures actually believed dragons existed, specifically in China where they often interpreted the bones of dinosaurs as belonging to dragons. It wasn't until more recently that humans looked at dragons as mythical beasts. But these animals may have been a bit more real than we give them credit for. For example, when comparing the long dragons of ancient China, the dracon from ancient Greece, and the worm from old England, we see that different cultures on Earth all had the exact same ideas of what dragons looked like. These creatures were long, they had very small legs, or no legs at all, and they looked a lot like snakes. Now, there happens to be fossil evidence suggesting that snakes evolved from lizards, and as they were evolving, their legs were shrinking and gradually disappearing. This actually fits perfectly with the description of ancient dragons. Now, if we look back a few million years, we'll be looking at the Earth during a time when the Titanoboa was the largest snake ever, with a monstrous length of 40 feet. If you make the assumption that at some point, the Titanoboa may have been even larger and had short little legs, it basically could have been a real life dragon, or pretty close to it. Number 8. Spiny Bush Viper Native to Central Africa, the spiny bush viper is a relatively small venomous snake with spiny scales. Found in semi-arboreal locations, they love climbing trees and hunting for mammals, frogs, lizards and birds. Having what is known as a prehensile tail, they can hang upside down from branches, but be careful when trekking through rainforests, woodlands and swamps where they like to hang out. Their venom has neurotoxins that can cause organ hemorrhaging. Only growing up to 29 inches, the males of the species have a longer, more slender body. The females, who reach only 23 inches, are more stout, but both have triangular heads and green or brownish keeled scales that give them a bristly appearance. Excellent climbers, they can be found at high elevations and frequent Uganda, Tanzania and Kenya. They are a nocturnal species, basking in the sun during the day, but at night, they like to ambush their prey by hanging from trees or hiding in an S-shape before lunging and striking. An elusive creature, the spiny bush viper keeps to itself, which makes it hard for scientists to determine their lifespan in the wild. Number 7. Rainbow Boa Wondering how the Brazilian rainbow boa got its name? The medium-sized snake native to the Amazon River Basin has beautiful iridescent skin that refracts light and creates a rainbow-coloured effect. A brown or reddish snake with black stripes on its head, they also have large spurs on their head. Mostly found in humid woodlands or open savannas, they ambush and constrict their prey, which are usually rodents, birds or lizards. A stunning snake, they usually have either dark spots or striped patterns. This solitary snake prefers to avoid interaction, but when they encounter other snakes, they defend themselves by striking out in anger. But it is their rainbow-coloured hue that garners them the most attention, or rather their ability to glow in rainbow colours in certain lighting situations. But they do not have multicoloured pigments on their body. Instead, they have microscopic ridges on their scales that refract light, giving them their dazzling iridescence. But don't get too smitten. Their ability to see heat, like an infrared camera, means they will see you before you see them. What's the coolest snake you've ever seen? And where was it? Tell me about it in the comments section below. Then, remember to subscribe to Epic Wildlife if you haven't already for more incredible content. Number 6. Paradise Flying Snake If you're not a fan of creepy crawlers, then the Paradise Flying Snake might make you extra squeamish. So, would it make you feel better if you knew that this type of snake can't actually fly, but only glides through the air? These snakes use either body contortions or free fall from high places to glide from place to place. To prepare for takeoff, they slither to the end of a branch. 
Dangling in a J shape, they propel themselves from the branch, forming into an S shape and then flatten their bodies to trap more air. As they undulate back and forth, they can make turns in the air as they glide. But why would a snake need to fly, or at least glide? Scientists think they do this to escape predators or to move from tree to tree without having to crawl down to the forest floor, though some scientists also believe it is to hunt. With five recognized species of flying snakes found from Western India to Indonesia, they rarely descend from the canopy. And due to their unique method of travel, they don't really need to. When a group of scientists set out to understand just how the paradise flying snake could glide, they put reflective tape on their bodies, using high-speed cameras to capture their movements. Although they already knew the snakes flattened their bodies to achieve lift, the scientists also discovered the snakes could make complex maneuvers, undulating their bodies from side to side and up and down, as well as moving their tails above and below the levels of their head. It is their ability to wriggle in three dimensions that prevents them from spinning from side to side or falling head over tail. Forget snakes on a plane. The paradise flying snake can do well enough on its own thanks to its unique method of travel. Number five, spider-tailed horned viper. When a scientist came across a dead snake with what looked like a spider on its body in 1970 at the Field Museum in Chicago, he was puzzled by what turned out to be a bizarre growth on its tail. After closer examination of what he thought was a Persian horned viper, he found that the oval knob-like structure that he couldn't be sure wasn't simply a result of the animal's genes or some sort of cancerous growth. Almost 40 years later, another such dead snake was discovered with the same growth. After more analysis, scientists realized that the growth was an extreme form of animal mimicry where the snake evolved to have this growth resemble the prey of another species. The reason? Many other animals waggle their tails as a decoy trick for predators, but these snakes are equally deceptive. To catch unsuspecting rivals into becoming their meal. When another animal intent on eating the so-called spider moved in for a quick meal, the snake was ready and waiting to pounce. Because both specimens were found dead, researchers needed to find a living spider-tailed snake to study. It took them to the Zagros Mountains in Turkey and Kurdistan to find one, but it wasn't easy. With their rough, corrugated scales that blend into the gypsum and limestone, scientists had their work cut out for them, but they tracked a pair of the vipers in western Iran. They trapped and removed one of the snakes, later releasing it into an enclosure where they could watch. As the snake swooshed its tail along the ground, the spider-like growth skittered along, looking very much like a spider. Several birds were instantly fooled by the snake's movements and became meals for the reptile. Although other species, like the Death Adder and Saharan Sand Viper, do have similar traits, the snake-tailed viper is the only one with a strange growth that they use to trick unsuspecting animals. Number 4. Barbados Thread Snake From one of the most unique snakes to the smallest, our list of strange snakes runs the gamut. Take the Thread Snake. Their name might give away the fact that they are not only short and slender, but they are also so small they are sometimes mistaken for earthworms. Also sometimes called worm snakes or slender blind snakes, they are often found on oceanic islands. Scientists believe the Barbados thread snake is near the smallest possible size for any snake. Being any smaller would mean they could not reproduce or forage for the insect prey they need to survive. The species is in fact so small that their mouths can barely open and even when they do, they can only eat microscopic sized insects. A burrowing snake, they spend their days squirming in soil, which not only serves as a good place to hide out, but also to stay hydrated. But that doesn't mean survival isn't a challenge for the diminutive snake species. The mother, being so small, can only bear one single egg, which means the survival of the species is precarious at best. Measuring from only 0.08 to 0.5 inches, their eggs are only as big as a grain of rice. A rare snake that has never been studied ecologically, the thread snake remains mysterious, with very few specimens seen or collected for study. Number 3. Blue Coral Snake One look at the blue coral snake and it's obvious you've got a unique snake on your hands. But its appearance isn't the only fascinating thing about it. The snake has a unique kind of venom, and with the largest venom glands of any snake, ones that extend more than a quarter of its body length, it's safe to say you might want to steer clear of this vibrantly coloured reptile. Don't be charmed by its eye-catching black and blue hue. They strike quickly, and their venom's toxins affect victims nearly immediately. But how did their venom get to be so deadly? Apparently, they often eat other venomous snakes, 
so they had to adapt their venom to make it even more fast acting so they could take down their enemies and avoid getting bitten back. Preying on other venomous snakes is not only their lifestyle habit, but they seem to turn it into something of a game. And the fact that the venom doesn't kill right away, but instead paralyzes their prey so they cannot move, is enough to make one's blood run cold. Even though this helps the blue coral snakes survive in the wild, their toxic venom might actually help humans. Scientists continue to study the venom, and more importantly how it affects sodium channels in nerves. Those same channels are how humans feel pain, so if researchers can determine how it works, they could possibly find therapeutic uses for it. Still, that doesn't mean you want to go picking up a blue coral snake anytime soon. Leave the research to the professionals and be satisfied with observing this eye-catching snake from afar. Number 2. Red Spitting Cobra A species of snake native to Africa, the Red Spitting Cobra is another strikingly coloured snake. With a bright salmon colouring that contrasts with its broad black throat band, this snake can reach lengths of up to almost 5 feet. Other specimens, including those found in the southern regions of Kenya, have different colouring ranging from orange, red and blue bands to yellow, pinkish or even steel grey bodies. It's clear to see that there is a wide variety when it comes to colouring in the species. What they do have in common though is that they are mostly found in East Africa and tend to hang out near waterholes above sea level. A fast and alert snake, the adults are nocturnal, while juveniles like to be more active during the day. One macabre fact about this species is that they can sometimes be cannibalistic, which could be why adults and young snakes are seen at different times of the day to avoid becoming a meal for their older counterparts. When they feel threatened, they take on a typical cobra stance by rearing up and displaying their hood. They are also known to hiss and spray venom in the eyes of their intruder, which causes burning pain and blindness in other animals. Luckily, there aren't normally fatalities in humans. Their venom has both neurotoxins and cytotoxins, which can still cause disfigurement in those who have been bitten. Living up to their name, the red spitting cobra squeezes the muscles around its venom gland to force small jets of venom through small holes in their fangs. They are definitely a species you want to avoid. In experiments by scientists, they found that the spitting cobra was able to hit the researchers' goggle-covered eyes 10 out of 10 times. Those are odds you just can't beat. Number 1. California Red-Sided Garter Snake Even if you happen to have a fear of snakes, you can't deny that some of the species are beautiful. Take the California Red-Sided Garter Snake. The combination of vibrant red, yellow and black colouring is hard to miss. Luckily, garter snakes are considered harmless. Found in forests, shrublands and wetlands, some species of garter snake are found further north than any other land-dwelling reptile in Canada. As for the California red-sided garter snake, they are usually about 3 feet long and quite skinny. Not only are they striped, but they also have spots or blotches on their backs. Unlike their Canadian counterparts, they are found in marshes or dunes along the coast. When they are approached by predators, they often retreat into the marshes, streams or ponds they like to live near. Considered both a predator and prey, they like to eat meat, insects and eggs. But they need to look out for snapping turtles and bullfrogs, who look at them as a tasty meal. Luckily for the snake's case, they release toxins with every bite, but it doesn't affect humans much. Their unique keeled scales, which have a ridge down the middle, makes them more camouflaged and more likely to survive longer in the wild because of it. Maybe that's a good thing because this California native is quite the looker by snake standards. Number 10. Whale Saviour Marine biologist Nan Hauser was swimming off the coast of the Cook Islands when out of nowhere she found herself being lifted out of the ocean on top of a humpback whale's huge head. It was a 10 minute battle in which the marine biologist was nudged, bumped with the whale's belly and swiped with its huge pectoral fins. After spending 28 years underwater with whales, she had never experienced a whale so adamant about keeping a human so close to it. This was actually a bit dangerous, as the whale was so powerful that if it had bumped her a little too hard with its flipper or tail, it very easily could have shattered her bones or even burst her organs. And if she had been held under its pectoral fin for too long, she would have easily drowned. During this entire encounter, she had no idea what was going on. It wasn't until afterwards that she realised that on the other side of the humpback whale was a huge tiger shark. It was only after reviewing the encounter on video that the marine biologist realised that the whale had been trying to keep her safe from the deadly shark. And this isn't the first time that the humpback whale has come to the rescue. A humpback whale in 2009 was caught on camera shielding a lonely seal from a crew of mean killer whales. 
According to life science, this could have something to do with the whale's natural instincts to protect its own calves. It also might have something to do with the fact that humpbacks and orcas are mortal enemies. Number 9. Angel Dog The particulars about how a dog managed to save a boy from certain death is something amazing. This incident unfolded in Canada when a golden retriever saved her owner from being mauled to death by a deadly cougar in the backyard of their home. This happened in Boston Bar, roughly 130 miles from Vancouver. As reported by CNN, the dog, whose name just so happens to be Angel, was only 18 months old when she leapt into action and saved her boy owner from the rampaging cougar that was charging at him for the kill. Of course, this is just one of those things you have to deal with when you live in British Columbia. The boy had been outside with his dog around 5.30 that night to gather some firewood from the backyard when the attack occurred. This goes to prove that even at such a young age, a dog can't help but protect its owner at all costs. The dog intercepted the cougar, the two animals got into a fight underneath the deck of the house, and luckily there was an officer in the area who responded to the family's panicked 911 call and was able to save the dog from the cougar. Even after sustaining some pretty bad injuries, including bites and scratches, Angel the Golden Retriever went on to make a full recovery. This is just more proof that dogs truly are man's best friend. Has your dog ever protected you? Let me know your dog stories in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Number 8. Attacked by Lions Saving a person from one small cougar is definitely commendable, but check out this next dog that saved the life of a shepherd after he was attacked by a group of three lions in Gujarat, India. According to the story from India Today, the shepherd was on the outskirts of his village, tending to his sheep, when the three lions appeared from the wilderness and decided he looked like a yummy snack. Luckily, this guy had his loyal companion dog with him, and the dog actually managed to save his life. Although, it was kind of the shepherd's fault. He had actually tried to stop the lions from getting too close to his sheep, and that was when they turned their attention to him. But even after the lions set their sights on him, the guy walked away with just a couple of scrapes on his arm. And as for the dog, it was completely fine. All the dog had needed to do was bark its heart out to distract the lions and to alert the other local townspeople. The dog's barking drew a huge crowd of spectators. The three lions got too nervous to continue their attack on the defenseless shepherd and his flock, and in the end everyone was okay, and the lions would live to terrorise another day. Number 7. Dolphins Saving Dogs We're going to flip the script for the next one. Rather than a dog saving a human, let's talk about a couple of dolphins that recently saved a dog from a certain underwater doom. A Doberman named Turbo recently got into some trouble when he became stranded in the waters off of Marco Island in South Florida. According to Turbo's owner, he had somehow gotten out of the yard and escaped on a Sunday night. He wasn't found until Monday afternoon, almost drowning in a nearby canal. The dog may have been in the water for as long as 15 hours, and if it hadn't been for the help of two curious dolphins keeping the dog safe, he almost certainly would have drowned. There was no way that Turbo could have tread water for 15 hours, and he simply couldn't get out of the canal because he was stuck. The dolphins held him upright, they kept him from slipping under the water and drowning, and finally when someone came across the scene on Monday afternoon, they were able to wade into the canal and rescue the dog, with the help of two generous dolphins of course. Thankfully, Turbo made a full recovery, and the dolphins were hailed as local heroes. Number 6. Cat Saves Baby Dogs aren't the only animals that can be heroes, cats can too. Check out this cat named Gatabella, who recently saved the life of a baby. The incident was even caught on security video and uploaded online. In the video, you can see the toddler somehow got out of its crib and was crawling towards a dangerous flight of stairs. The cat has been resting peacefully on the couch, but when it saw the kid moving towards danger, it leapt into action. The cat actually lashed itself onto the child, manoeuvring the baby in such a way that it ended up crawling away from the stairs and back into the centre of the room. But here's the deal, it's hard to say if the cat saved the baby on purpose or just inadvertently. It could be that the cat simply wanted to play with the child, so when the cat saw the baby moving across the room, it thought it would be a good time to pounce. Then again, its benevolent cat instincts could very well have kicked in, and that could be why it saved the day. Number 5. The Gorilla and the Baby At a zoo in Illinois, a female gorilla was declared a hero after she carried a young child who fell into her enclosure all the way to safety. According to ABC News, the child slipped away from his mother, managed to wriggle through the barrier at the Western Lowland Gorilla Pit, and then fell right in with the giant gorillas. But rather than being ripped apart, he ended up being saved. The kid fell in front of Binti Joa, an 8-year-old lady gorilla, 
She picked him up gently around the waist and carried him to a nearby door where rescuers were already prepared to rush in and save the child. This is extraordinary because there were six other gorillas living inside the exhibit at the time and if it hadn't been for Binti's quick thinking, one of the other gorillas could have done some serious damage to the child. The gorilla even had her own baby on her back during the entire encounter, highlighting her maternal instincts to protect the child, even if it wasn't hers or even part of her own species. The boy actually suffered some pretty bad injuries from the fall. He had a broken hand, cuts all over his face, and he had to spend four days in recovery at the hospital. What's even more amazing is that this happened in 1996, and all these years later the heroic gorilla is still living at the Brookfield Zoo. She's now almost 30 years old with her own grandchildren. Number 4. Piglet the Hero Pigs are heroes too. A heroic pig named Lucky recently saved the life of her owner and her owner's two grandchildren after a raging fire began to consume their mobile home early on a Sunday morning. According to the report in Time magazine, Lucky began squealing just after 4.30am. Ina Farler knew something was wrong immediately, as Lucky usually waited until the morning to wake up the family. Not only was the pig screaming, but he was jumping up and down, running to the door and then back to the bed, and ramming into Ina extremely hard. The pig was panicking because the mobile home was filled with smoke and slowly burning down. If it hadn't been for the swift actions of this pet pig, the entire family probably would have been consumed by the flames. And even though the fire was so out of control that the mobile home and all their belongings within were burned up, at least the family and their beloved pig went on to live another day. Number 3. Cow Defends Honour A cow recently showed more humanity than two despicable men when it came to the rescue of a woman being stabbed to death. It's not clear exactly where this happened, but the video was posted by the New York Post online and they claimed that the men had been stabbing the young girl to death all because she had committed the crime of eloping with a man without first getting their permission. To pay for her elopement, the men, her uncle and father, decided to murder the girl. But in the middle of committing this horrific act, a cow came to the girl's rescue. The cow trampled them, stepped on their faces and tried to subdue them, and in doing so proved itself to be more human than the supposed men it was attacking. Unfortunately, the girl's life wasn't actually saved, but at least the cow showed us just how much more compassionate animals can be than those of our own species. So far as we know, the two men were forced to go on the run after the incident was captured on film. Number 2. The Family Goat When a 10-year-old girl named Abigail from Arkansas was given a goat for her birthday, her father was not particularly excited. The girl's father told Inside Edition that he didn't approve of the goat at first. However, after the goat saved the entire family from certain doom, the father changed his tune. Abigail named her goat Speedy, and Speedy turned out to be a real lifesaver just two days after becoming part of the family. Abigail was asleep in the living room at home with her goat on a Saturday, when Speedy suddenly woke her up and began jumping on her legs and chest, almost as if it was trying to pummel her to death. But actually, the goat had been trying to warn Abigail that the house was on fire. It took the girl a minute to wake up, but once she did, she realised that the entire house was filled with smoke. There was fire pouring in through the windows. As it turned out, the garage had somehow caught fire. But thanks to the quick thinking and bravery of the goat, Abigail was able to wake the rest of her family and everyone escaped through a bedroom window. The fire department showed up a few minutes later and put out the fire, but just like the case we talked about before with the hero pig, everything they owned was destroyed. Of course, they still had their lives, and that was something that they could thank Speedy the Goat for. Number 1. Dog to the Rescue A man recently got a second chance at life all thanks to his loyal dog. A German Shepherd named Sadie has recently been declared a hero after saving her owner from a heart attack. Sadie was originally surrendered to an animal refuge centre in New Jersey after her owner had been forced to give her up. Just a few months later, a man named Brian adopted her. Brian claimed to feel a special bond with Sadie, and the two of them hit it off right away. Shortly after taking Sadie home, Brian suffered a stroke. But Sadie was there to rescue his life. She actually dragged Brian across the room to where his cell phone was so that he could pick up the phone and call for help. If it hadn't been for Sadie and her amazing intelligence, Brian may have died right there and then on the floor. Then, after Brian called the police for assistance, his dog stayed with him the entire time, licking his face and keeping him awake. Even cuter is that Sadie was forced to stay with family while Brian recovered, but the two of them used FaceTime every night to stay in contact. Thanks for watching. Aren't animals amazing? Have you ever been saved by your pet? 
let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. How far would you go to save your pet? Would you give up the tip of your pinky if it could save your pet?